This is surrounded, and this is a bus that looks to be tipped over. <laughs> this is a, a survival game that's actually been out for a while now, and I only got it recently with the last Steam sale, and I gotta say, what I have played so far, I, I do enjoy. That looks like those might be survivors over there, or maybe they're bandits. Uh... Probably survivors, if I had to guess. So if you've never played any survival games, Seven Days to Die, Ark, Rust, Conan, uh, I don't know, there's about a bajillion of them. There are a dime a dozen in the forest, etc. Basically, it's the zombie apocalypse in this particular game, and we need to survive. And to do that, we start with a trusty shiv, basically, and it's going to be kind of ugly. I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be, right? Got some zombies already. Did I hear something else? Okay. Nope. Just you. Come shamble your way over here. The way you fight in the early game, with melee at least, is to just stab and keep walking backwards. So eventually we will get some better equipment, of course. It's just, it's going to take a minute to get to that point. And oh, here, let's go ahead and get this guy to come over here. Zombies, as you can see, have a pretty big range from which they can see you. And this weapon is kind of crap. I mean, it's fast, so it's got that going for it, but very low damage, but whatever. We'll talk more about stuff as we move along. A little worried about being able to get to this guy without the one on the other side of the car seeing us, but I um, guess we'll see what happens. Oh, nope, never mind. That guy saw. I mean, if we had a different weapon, I might not worry too, too much, but hello. Okay, there is definitely someone around. Whether that's a survivor or a bandit, I'm not sure. Having a hard time... ...telling the direction. I think it's that way, ahead of us. I don't know, I mean... Uh, you can tell, basically, that, yeah, firearms are allowed, and that's going to be the case here as we just, you know, ideally find something. I mean, it, it might be a minute before we do, but I'm hoping we'll find something. Oh yeah, you can see the shots being fired right there. Well, we're going to have to find out as we get a little closer whether that's friendly or not. I mean, ideally it is, but um, if it's not, we'll deal with it as we get there. Got a car over here. One of the things in this game is that sometimes uh, you can find a car that you can actually use, like you can drive. I haven't found many of them, but I have found a couple. I have, I don't know, a handful of hours into this game so far. Not a, not a ton, mind you, but definitely a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, a small backpack. Please take the backpack and let's switch out the pants. Because these are going to be better pants. And we'll take... Ah, uh, here, we'll go ahead and take that guy and then rip the clothing. There we go. So we haven't talked much yet about how this game works. I just said it's a survival game. And as you can see there, we found a backpack, some pants, some variety of things. A, uh, basically a, a gaiter, a, a neck wrap, like a scarf or something. Ooh, six by eight. So there are different size backpacks in the game. And obviously, the bigger the backpack, and the more crap you can carry. Here, we'll drop our office shoes for some boots. That'll be fine. And um, nothing in there, right? Oh, yeah, I almost left the cloth behind. That would have been bad. The way the game works, it's um, kind of manual operations for a lot of things. It's a very, it's a very sort of um, hardcore without being super hardcore game. I mean, you can do some quick transfers of stuff. You know, there's a loot all button. You can do control click to kind of move things a little faster. But crap, I had a feeling there would be someone around like that. That's just frustrating. But it is a fairly hardcore game in the sense that. I mean, it, it's it's kind of punishing, and, and it really does... What did I hear? I heard something. I bet it's that guy. The deer in this game make some awful, awful sounds, although if you've ever heard deer sounds, they do make awful sounds, so... I guess that's on point, really, but sometimes they sound like they might be, um, I don't know, like bears or something. We're going to take this camping axe, and we'll just... Take that straight up, and then here, we'll go ahead and put on a beanie. Take some scrap metal. 
Yeah, I think that'll be all right. We'll find out. It's an upgrade in terms of damage, at least, but it's kind of a slow weapon, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm not necessarily looking to use that long term, but we'll take it for now. But as I was saying, the game is kind of hardcore because, you know, things like, um, I don't know, you got to find food and water, of course. But this is, a, this is a great example, this food we found, canned spaghetti. You can't eat it because you don't have a can opener. Yeah, you got to find a can opener to open your canned food. I mean, depending on, on what you want to use for your logic, that more or less makes sense. But uh, it does, um, I don't know, it requires a little bit of a, a change in and how you approach the game. So we haven't talked about it yet, but clothing can have pockets. So storage size three by two, you can see that at the bottom of the description. Storage size two by two, you can see that at the bottom of that description. So there's uh, definitely some stuff you can find along the way that, you know what, I think I do want the Ranger hat. Let's be a cowboy, why not? Ooh, uh, let's talk about this here. We'll take that and then we'll move along for a second. I just want to finish the thought on Clothing has pockets, so we end up having to scroll for all of our pockets, but oh man, I kind of want to play with the cleaver <laughs> just for the giggles. Um, we don't really have the space to make this work right now, so um, here, let's rotate you and put that there. Baseball bat go there, and then we'll just walk around with the cleaver for a minute. But we will uh, continue to find stuff, and we'll just, you know, use whatever looks appropriate at the time, and We'll use whatever storage we have for everything. I kind of know where we are. I think maybe there's like a standard, a standard spawn place, even though it's random. I do actually know where we are. It's kind of funny. If I pull up the map, you'll see that there's nothing marking anything. I mean, we can zoom in and out and all that stuff, but there's nothing to really tell you where you are because we need to find a GPS. So we will find that and we'll start equipping all the things. But let's go ahead and read Fighting for Dummies, or Fighting for Beginners. Increase your ability and toughness by 250 XP. And I don't know, can we... I, th I don't know if it only comes up uh, once you have a level up, but whatever, I can't remember all the keys right now. We'll just keep moving on. It's fine. I don't see whoever was shooting, by the way. I do see a fire over there, so maybe... Maybe it was someone who had wandered out over here. And then they um, went back to their camp over here, where that fire is. Could be. Not 100% sure. I see a car off in the distance over there. We might go check that one out just to see if there's anything we can get out of it. These guys look like they're going to be friendlies based on the campfire. That's kind of been my experience, is if I see the campfire, I think they're friendly. Might be wrong, but we'll find out. I mean, never mind. I'm just going to run into your camp with a... Big old cleaver. Here we go. Friendly scavenger. Yeah, friendly scavengers. It's a nice truck. I mean, it's a little rusty, but can't interact with any of their stuff. So that just kind of it is what it is. That's fine. It's not a big deal. But it would be nice to, you know, find a vehicle, especially early on, that we could make use out of. Since I think we did find some fuel, right? Yeah. We've got one can of fuel. We don't have a repair kit, which... Uh, whenever we do find a vehicle will be a necessity at some point because you know of course vehicles going to get damaged and such and so forth no windshield there yeah that guy has seen better days i'm keeping the road to our left that's fine we have the power lines and other things that we can use to follow that but i just kind of thought you know let's go wander off into the woods a little bit that that never turns into a bad idea in the zombie apocalypse right okay let's go into stealth mode and if we can sneak up, well, if we could have sneaked up on the zombie, we can get a big critical backstab hit damage multiplier thingy majigger, which is fantastic. All right, I'm not a big fan of this cleaver, I think. I mean, it's fine, but meh. I, I'm, I'm not feeling it here. Let's... Let's just go ahead and swap this guy out. We can put you in here for now, and let's go back to the baseball bat. The baseball bat, we're going to be able to stagger them with, and I say baseball bat, and it's really a spiked bat. I recognize that. This is a, a beefier weapon, for sure. So here, let's go ahead and sneak up on this guy. It's kind of funny. The stealth attack from crouching 
is always a one-handed bash. It's just kind of funny. I don't know why that is. It doesn't matter what weapon it is. Hello. There's an M9. We're going to take that as our sidearm. Ooh, some radiation pills and a flashlight. We're going to drag that down to our slot at the bottom there. I don't think any of the backpacks that you find or any of the containers that you find have anything in them. That's been my experience so far. That would be kind of interesting if they did. Oh, there's a fishing rod. We'll take that. That's a GPS that will now let us know where we are on the map. That's amazing. There's a battery. We need one for the flashlight so we can now turn on the flashlight. Should have shown you that we couldn't turn it on when, right when we initially found it. You do need batteries. I did say it's kind of a hardcore game. It is kind of a hardcore game. We'll take that uh, two by two. We're just going to rip that guy. Ceiling light. I mean, I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I mean, I really don't. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. We're just kind of taking some things here and there. To show you that it is kind of a hardcore game, this weapon has no ammunition in it. And when we do find some ammunition, assuming we ever find the right ammunition, I gotta manually reload that thing. I mean, you're not literally like putting each round into the magazine one by one, but uh, it is a manual operation, which is very interesting. So we found a GPS, which, man, that's a great find this early on. And we can see where we are right now. Here we are. This is it right here. Boom. We are right here. What I want to do is go up to Wilson's shop or Trader Joe's, but I'm just going to tell you right now. You see that little radiation thing right there? That's a bad place. I don't really want to go over there so i'm thinking what we'll do since we're facing this way we'll just go this way and we're gonna head we'll just cut through here i don't know that this is a good idea because if we see wolves we're kind of um well we're dead basically so ideally don't run into any wolves and we'll be okay and if there are wolves well it's been nice it's been real nice i see some smoke over there I don't know if we're being shot at or someone else is. Okay. Let's just kind of use cover over here. I mean, I'm not seeing stuff whiz by. So I'm inclined to think we are not the ones being shot at. But I'm not necessarily going to trust that. I see a zombie over there that's not being shot at. Like, I think whatever's coming from, it's coming from over here. Oh, there we go. Uh, this would be bandits. You can see that based on this guy just running over here. Ow. Okay. Holy crap, dude. All right, we need to heal. Because we are at um, gonna die stage. Okay, I think maybe that guy stopped chasing long enough to... Shoot, we don't have any. There's one. Okay. No, no, no. That's bad news. Okay, that is ultra bad news. I don't even know if I can do this. Holy crap, dude. That was intense right there. Okay, we need to do a crap ton of crafting here. Let's... I don't know that we have a bunch of antibiotics. I don't think we do. So we're just going to use... These rags like crazy. They're going to restore 10 health each time. And I know we need to stack our stuff so that we're using less space. I'm well aware of that, but the game does a bad job of that on its own. I mean, let's just be real here. Ah, oh, good grief. That was... We've got two antiseptics. So here, let's craft those, and then we can make two bandages. These are going to be better. And we have run out of our stuff. We'll use one. That'll take us back to full. Banded Assault gave us some more antiseptic and baked beans. That's good. Man, this is a rainstorm and a half. Okay, I'm kind of turned around now because... I don't know where... I can't see. There's no visibility. There, that's where we're going. Okay. No idea where those other bandits are. The, the ones that we basically clubbed down. Ow. That might be the last of them. If we can let this guy get close enough, we can probably just abuse the crap out of, you know, close-range combat. 
There we go. I mean, that wasn't the most exciting fight, but it worked well. It's really disappointing that they don't drop their weapons and ammunition. That guy over there is going to see us if we're not careful. Let's see if we can sneak around him. I'm trying to use tactics. I'm trying to be smart-ish about it. That looks like a turret over there. I don't think I've ever seen uh, certainly this encampment. Never mind anything like this. Oh, you... Okay, I need you to look the other direction because this isn't working for me. I don't know if this guy does see us or what the deal is. It seems like he's looking, right? That guy over there is not. Oh, never mind that. Now that guy is. Okay. Shoot, how many of them are there? And how protective is this tent? <laughs> Ow. All right. Okay, so this guy at least is coming closer. Totally missed that first swing there. Wow, buddy. That was not okay. Okay, we'll take that. And I don't know why it suddenly gets quiet, like, as you get uh, lower in health, but it sure does. More rags, more bandages. We really need more of each. Okay. I guess it's, you know, that whole thing, like, you're close to death that's trying to... Wow, holy crap, I don't even know what... That guy just dropped. I grabbed everything. I wasn't paying attention. I just saw a lot of stuff. And a pistol that looked like it would hold 50 rounds. Which, what in the world could that even be? All right, do we have enough time here? Wow, an M9 with, like, the longest magazine I've ever seen. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay for the moment. So let's put that guy there. And then... I don't remember how we do this. Do we do that? We need a magazine, I think, is the problem. We don't have a magazine, do we? Shoot. I think that's what it is. We need a magazine to put the ammunition into. We can't even just, like, straight do that. Uh, good grief. I mean... No mags found. Yep, there it is. No mags found. So that's how hardcore this game is. I mean, it's weird how you can have such a difference between number of rounds. Same damage, 1971, effective range, 80 meters, 4 and 15, but one holds 50 rounds and the other holds 19. I mean, 19 is still an extended mag, I'm pretty sure. Never mind, 50. Like, 50 is a magazine as long as my leg. That little clack, that sounds like sounds like gunshots to me. Not just whatever the storm is. Okay. I'm just wondering. Can we get over here and use this thing? No. You appear to be just for decoration. That's interesting. I don't know if we got everyone, because there was another dude around, I remember that. I mean we're not getting shot at, so I guess we're okay. There we go. We'll take that. We need the cloth right now. We have blown through everything. This is this is just a bonkers, bonkers thing to me. Like, holy crap, dude. Military supplies, there's a pretty decent chance we'll find something useful in here, I think. 556 compensator. Wow, military binoculars. That's excellent. We'll take that. Speed loader June edition. So that's free experience into... Reloading. I don't... Do we have... Um, okay, so can we do... Do we need cylinders? <laughs> I haven't tried using the revolvers yet, so I don't know if we need a cylinder. No. Nah. Okay. So this guy is good to go. We now actually have a firearm. And those military binoculars... Wow, those... Um, can I zoom in less? No. Okay. I mean... That's not really helping when it's so, so, so blurry. But I mean, I guess it is what it is. 
Ooh, an emergency drop. I haven't found any of these yet. This is awesome. Holy crap, dude. Um, we're taking that. And that's an item that we can sell. Marksmanship Volume 3. Once red gives a three times multiplier to a specific passive skill until level up. Sure. SVD Mag. Okay. So this guy... I don't even know. An SVD rifle. The Soviet, I'm assuming. Rifle. Uh, I don't even know what you... I mean, it should be... 762, right? We don't have any 762. So that compensator's not going to do us any good. That magazine's not going to do us any good. I mean, it looks like we got a bunch of lockpicks off of one of those. There's 556. Shoot. Okay, so I need to resort the ammunition here. Let's do this. Let's put all the ammunition together. And then we'll just put this guy down there and... Uh, maybe the compensator down there as well. Man, this is just bonkers to me. Like, seriously, we have found so much crab to start with. I've never found this much crab. This is great. Uh, let's go and drink that bottle, and then we'll put that down here. And we're going to need to eat some sardines, too. Sure, why not? And a tin of tuna. Sure, why not? I mean, we don't need it right this second. I was just kind of looking at it going, yeah, that's fine. I don't know if we need to carry around the scrap metal, but, well, whatever. Should have said right off the jump, we are using default days, so 40 minutes for the day. Got Negan's jacket here, a 5x1 versus a 3x2, so we'll stick with the 3x2. That's obviously more. We'll take the wood for now, although I'm not really interested in grabbing wood right now. That is definitely gunfire, and I'm... Not sure where that came from. I mean, I thought there was another dude who was around somewhere. And I just wasn't finding him. That seems to confirm. Right? That seems to confirm. I'm not seeing him. It sounds like he's to the left. Oh, we can drive this RV. Are you kidding me? I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I mean, I want to do it. Don't get me wrong. I'm a little worried about wherever this guy is taking shots at us if we get into it and then destroying said RV. This is where I need, like, some uh, thermal goggles or something so I can figure out where that's coming from. I mean, it sounded like it was off this direction somewhere, but... I mean, I'm not seeing anyone. We'll kind of go wide a little bit just to see. This RV is not one that we can get into. Okay. I don't know where this guy is. I'm just going to say we're going to get in the RV and go. Here. I want to get our bearings. So if we hop in that RV and it's facing this direction, that actually gets us right onto the road, and I am good with that. Okay. We're just going to make a run for it. It'll be what it'll be. Okay. No problem. I mean, we're going to need to repair this bad boy. Yeah. I just want to get to the road and call it good. I mean, this storm is awful, too. Just terrible. Can't really see where we're going, what we're doing, etc. Man, this is amazing. This is such a great start. Like, seriously, this is the best start I've ever had. This is... This is just nuts. Let's go head up the road here. I kind of wonder, too, if the RV is terrible for fuel economy. I mean, it would kind of make sense. Ooh. This vehicle right here. I'll top out right quick. And I'm going to grab the bat just in case anything shows up. Yep, we can get in the sedan, too. Check that out. Um, how do we... Oh, okay. Got it. I think maybe that changed. I'm not sure. Wow, this guy stores so much stuff, though. It's kind of hard not to want to take this guy. I mean, I think we're getting close to evening here. 
very close to evening. Although I really do think it's not as dark as it otherwise might seem right now. Okay. As far as I know, wherever all those bandits were, those are gone. So I think we're okay in that regard. Um, where is the... Are you on this side? I don't want to get in the RV. I do want to refuel it, but... There we go. I guess that was it. I was still thinking maybe I needed to find a, a different spot, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and refuel this guy. We did find one can of gas. This will be enough to basically get it up to full. We'll be okay for a little while. I'm going to drop off some of these things that we have been carrying that we don't necessarily need right now. And we'll just kind of call this good for the moment. Uh, sure, you can go in there too, and then that guy as well. And all these pistols. Man, I am so jazzed about the start we have. It is unreal. Actually, a little concerned right now. We don't have... Okay, we have a bunch of rope, but we don't have cloth, so we do need some cloth. Baseball bat on zombies, much better than baseball bat on humans, because you can basically stagger them fairly reliably. If you prefer to use the term stun lock, we can go with stun lock. However you want to look at it, it does work very well. Kind of tempted to take out that crawler with the gun, just because these guys are kind of a pain. I mean, you can see they move fast. They haul butt here. And you got to kind of like aim a little off to the side. I mean, you can see the reticle is not pointed at them. That's because if you point the reticle at them and swing one-handed, you're going to miss every time, guaranteed. Don't do it. Okay, so we've already checked you. Kabonk, kabonk, kabonk. Man, it doesn't normally rain all day like this, or at least I haven't really experienced this. This is just, like, non-stop rain. It's kind of awful. Got a crawler to the right. Shambler coming in. Looks like another crawler dead ahead. Take your money. Alright, let's run around the back of this place a little bit. I'm trying to watch our food and water and all that jazz. I'm, kind of, I'm not sure if there's anything like rain collectors. But if so, this is... This is the weather for it. It's so much quieter in here. I mean, check that out. Hi. Hi can actually hear the, the thunk of the bat cleanly now. Gonna rip that guy off. The clothing, rather. Rip it into some cloth for us, because, as I said, we really need cloth right here. I don't want to lose this star. We have such a great star going on. Take that guy, and we'll take the lamp, sure. I mean, I don't know what to do with some of this stuff. I mean, it's just junk, and we can sell it, but... Um, I don't know that it's really worth it, I mean, I guess. We could try to take this guy to sell and then go throw it in the Winnebago. I think the storm has mostly passed and it's just a little bit of rain now. Oof. That was kind of intense. Um, <laughs> nope. There you go. Don't try to open the gas tank. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay, perfect. You can see the red meter with the wrench next to it. That is indeed the durability of the vehicle. So, as I was saying, we are going to run into issues where we're going to need to repair stuff. So, just trying to, you know, be mindful of all the stuff. Crowbar. Crap, I saw you. Ah. Okay. Forgot every time you come out of your vehicle, you don't have your weapon handy. I forgot about that one. That was across the street. I really did. That's terrible. That's like, it's a good way to die is what that is. Here, let us do some crafting, rags, bandages. Go back to our equipment. Use a bandage. Put that guy up there so we don't have to look for it. All right, let's check this out again. What did we have in here? The crowbar, 25, 4, 10, and 18. This guy's going to do more damage, but this can harvest scrap metal. This is a tool. 
that will be useful beyond just being a weapon. I think we already have a wall light clipboard. That's random junk. Take the bullet casings. The generator. Um, I mean, I've never bothered to collect all this stuff at the start before. Never had the room, never had the reason, but I think we have the room and the reason. We'll definitely wear a hockey mask. Got ourselves a compass. So we now have a compass at the top of the screen. There's our vehicle repair kit I was just talking about. And uh, we've got room for some wood planks. Why not? Here, let's take that guy there. And actually, you know what? Here, we can shove a table in our coat if I do this right. There you go. Again, I don't know that we really have want or need of this stuff. It's just kind of like we have the storage. So throw that guy in there, that guy in there, that guy in there. And a generator in there. Everything fits just fine. Probably need to throw like that guy will stack. There you go. So we've got just about another uh, nine-ish minutes before we hit proper morning. Let's go ahead and get in the vehicle. I have not yet made it to one of the traders. I've seen a wandering trader, but I've not yet made it to one of the traders on the road. I mean, I'm not opposed to taking a different vehicle, but, um, you know, Winnebago here. Not exactly the quietest, smallest, most nimble thing. Um, police vehicles. Here, let's get our bat out. Definitely got a lot of zombies here. and We've got some... Looks like fire and police here. Didn't even acknowledge earlier the thing popped up. Hey, we've survived a day. I don't know that we'll survive more than about... Well, one. <laughs> wonder if we can mark the map now. I haven't figured out how to do that, or what you need to be able to do that. Got a sprinter coming in. How you doing? I would like a, a, a very high quality bat. That would be fantastic, please. And thank you, and all the things. Okay, I think we've already checked you, right? Okay. Here, let's see. I know we've got more around. Let's see if we can get a stealth attack on this one. There will be a couple of items here to loot. I can see that already. Okay. I really do want to get a stealth attack on this zombie. There you go. Oh, look at you. 45, 9, baked beans, and money. That right there is money. And more 9. I mean, we still need the magazine. But, good grief. Let's check this medical crate right here. This could be something really good. More painkillers. Is that not what we had before? No, radiation pills. So these are painkillers. Health and radiation. Not just radiation. Excellent. Okay. Let's go hop in... Uh, the Winnebago over here and get rolling again. I don't know if we're going to make it to the trader before we need to wrap up the episode, but we're going to be close. If nothing else, we should probably come back to this place, or... I don't know. I mean, I guess we can just stop here. We're, we are passing through, after all. Okay. Don't attack the vehicle. I mean, I don't know that you guys do that. I'm just saying don't, because I don't want to deal with that. That sounds terrible. Okay, that's fine. I was going to go for a stealth attack, but if you want to run over here, we can do that. That phone is just a junk item. That's something to sell. It's not worth much. But, eh, you know, we'll take it. It's fine. Just check in the back of the house to see if there's anyone around here. It doesn't look like it. We're okay. Here, let's stand in the back of this place just in case anything comes in. We can be mostly safe back here. Look at that. Fantastic. More water, more fuel. As a matter of fact, here, let's just go ahead and drink that right now. We're basically at the point where we can drink all of that and not waste much, so I'm, I'm good with that. Don't really have much more storage space. We can technically find a bigger backpack. I don't know that we will. I'm just saying bigger backpacks do exist. So we're going to have to start getting choosy in a minute here. Rip that. Ooh, sleeping bag. That would be very good to have. Frying pan is a weapon, of course. 
face mask. Um, maybe we'll do the face. Oh, I guess that's face wear. Okay. Never mind. Not an accessory. I was thinking like, you know, neck. No, nope, we'll just go with the hockey mask. We'll just do a little Jason cosplay and that's fine. Spaghetti and some sardines or tuna, whichever it was. And another water jug. So we're in a pretty good spot insofar as our necessities are concerned. Food and water are pretty much covered. From what I've read, I, I can't say for certain, but once you're playing at the higher difficulties, it, it really gets dicey trying to find that stuff. This is standard difficulty. I'm not about to jump into like the crazy ultra stuff right away. That's an interesting backpack. This one brings uh, quite the choice with it. So in here, let's rip that guy just to deal with that. 4x6 and 2x3 and 2x2, two two, so 24 plus 6, 30 plus 4, 34, versus 6x8, 48. I mean, it's an interesting proposition, but um, it's worth a lot of money. That's the thing, though. I don't know how much, like, the, the price that we're seeing for these things, I don't know that that's what we would get for selling. I, I suspect that's more, if we were to try to buy, that's how much it would cost us. You know, it's pull this guy out of storage and we'll just um we'll just drop that it's damaged anyway so it's not like it's really worth anything right and then here can we just maybe throw some more of this stuff back into storage there we go and we'll just kind of deal with our own spacing here um ugh, good grief all this stuff what we really need is a new container to carry some of this stuff that would be very helpful here we'll put that guy down there you should be stacking. You should be stacking. Uh, I don't know why the ropes will stack, but the cloth doesn't. It's very weird to me. As a matter of fact here, I know we can move the batteries in there. So we'll do that. And then uh, the rest of that's fine. We're, we're okay. I'm not going to overthink it for the moment. So let's check this dresser. See what we got going on in here. Definitely rip that guy. Uh, we don't need another flashlight, but I guess we can take one just in the, the instant that maybe we can sell it. So we'll take that backpack. Again, I'm just kind of thinking maybe we can sell some of this stuff because we are heading straight over to the trader. That is where we are going to start, but probably not until the next one. We'll stomp at this car right here just to see what we got. This one might be drivable. It might not. It does not. So where are we? Yeah. We're basically right there. We're going to hit a fork and then another fork and then the trader is going to be not that far away. So what we will do is we will head down the road a little bit. I think we'll stop and smash a couple zombies and then we will call this one good because we have had quite, quite the start to the, the game. Like seriously, I said earlier, I've never had a better start. The last start I had was pretty decent. This one is ooh, beyond decent. This one is just straight up good. How you doing, ma'am? Man, I can't believe I let her hit me. That's crap right there. Here, let's go hit this guy. You with your uh, headphones and all sorts of things going on. All right, here, let's go get this guy. We're just going to go for sneaky sneaky. Trying to pay attention to other, other guys. Definitely hear some shooting. Not seeing where it is. I don't think I like these binoculars. They don't... I don't know how to make them work. They're not very... Uh, <laughs> not very focused. I guess it's just the distance, huh? Those are bandits. You can tell by the, the look right there. Okay. So, I have learned. Military binoculars, you need to really be looking far away for things to not look all blurry. Anyway, we will pick up on the next one as we play some more Surrounded. Catch that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.